Hey guys, it's Justin Goodbread, Certified Financial Planner, owner of Heritage Investors, bringing you this Client Question of the Week. Okay, today's question comes from Kim. It's rather short, but you'll get the point. It says, Justin, I'm making good income, but I can't figure out how to get out of debt. Help. <laughs> That's all of us, right? Kim, I understand where you're coming from. Debt is one of those things which affects us all at one point of life or another. You know, whenever my mom and dad were our age or my age, 30, mid-30s, early 40s, they used to say, well, how much does that cost? You know, what I'm hearing today from my peers and from the, the generation beneath me is, well, how much is the monthly payment? You know, with that type of perspective or world outlook, we're never going to get out of debt. Even when we go to buy shoes, they want us to open up a credit card just to buy a pair of shoes. I had that happen to me this week. I was like, are you kidding me? I'm going to give you some tips on how to get out of debt. Number one, take a comprehensive inventory of all of your debts. So what you're looking for is your current balance, your monthly payments. You may even look at your interest rate. I'm a fan of that. I've even helped clients separate how much of their monthly payment goes toward interest, or in other words, leaves their wealth, and how much of the monthly payment goes toward debt reduction. Number two, construct and analyze your personal monthly budget. We Americans have a hard time with budgeting. We just do, as a matter of fact. That being said, take a detailed budget and look at what expenses you can alleviate. Go ahead and just cut it. See if you can cut it by 10, 15%. That's a number that many people have a hard time with, but you can do it if you want to. That's number two. Number three, devise a debt reduction plan. I'm gonna give you a couple of different ways you can reduce debt. In East Tennessee, Dave Ramsey is rather popular. I like Dave Ramsey. Dave Ramsey encourages you to use a debt snowball. What a debt snowball is, is you take a, an inventory of all your debts and then look at which debt has the lowest balance. And then you apply as much money as you can to that particular debt. Once that debt is paid, then you take that payment that you were paying on the debt that was, was just paid down and you apply it to the second debt with the lowest payment and so forth so on. That's the snowball effect. Another way you can do this is what's called a debt avalanche, another popular method. Just like the debt snowball, except instead of attacking the balance, you're actually going to attack the interest rate. So whichever interest rate is the highest, you pay that down quickest and once it's paid down and you apply it to the next highest interest rate. You know, if you have credit card debt, a good way to help give some reprieve is to do a 0% interest balance transfer. There are many cards out there which you can transfer the balance of one credit card to another credit card and you may get a 0% interest rate for 12 months or 24 months. Great way to pay off some credit cards. And lastly, look at debt consolidation. You know, for example, student loans. It's not uncommon for me to see clients or people who have multiple student loans. There are companies like SoFi or LendEDU which help you to consolidate and potentially lower your monthly payments. So those are four different ways that you can devise a plan to pay off your debt. Number four, look for other opportunities. Get a side job, get a part-time job, get some freelance work, do something to add some extra income and every bit of that income apply it straight to the debt. It's the fourth thing you can do. And the fifth thing you can do is you can start selling things. You know, I heard one person say, sell everything to where the kids think they're next. You may need to sell a TV. You may need to sell an old bike. You may need to sell a third car. You may need to sell a boat, who, whatever else you have. Start selling some stuff and get that capital and apply it to your debt. Hey, Kim, debt is overwhelming. Just remember, we typically didn't get into debt overnight. We're also not going to get out of debt overnight. But if you use these five steps, you can knock out that debt and you can be on the road to financial freedom. So this is Justin Goodbread answering this client question of the week. Make it a great day.